One of the key objectives of the Sustainable Agricultural Intensification and Food Security Project, SAIP, is to improve nutritional outcomes at household level. This is done through distribution of sources of nutrient-rich foods and promotion of nutrition-sensitive value chains among vulnerable households in the project sites. To achieve this objective, SAIP has distributed chicken layers, mushroom tubes, fruits, vegetable seeds and orange-fleshed sweet potato cuttings to vulnerable households with a pregnant woman, a lactating mother or children under the age of five. The households that were supported by SAIP to improve nutrition and enhance food security have significantly improved nutritional outcomes at household level. <laughs> cyo zamariye mu mibereho yange narindimo no mu muryango wange izo ngukomba nabashi na ngoko nari ifite nabasheje kujya mbona amagi yo kurya nabana babasha kuva mu mirire mibi mu cyumweru buri mwana yemera wabiri kandi natwe nawe tudahebwe tukayafata hatari mu majya biri cyumweru these households highly appreciate how the lessons they learned in the saib nutrition intervention support are helping them to improve the nutritional status of their families. According to them, Saib has greatly supported them to access healthy and nutrition-rich foods that the human body requires for optimal functioning and good health. I want to thank Households have learned how to grow more nutritious and sustainable food crops for their families in kitchen gardens and those that used to struggle to add animal proteins to their diet are now able to feed on eggs regularly. According to the beneficiary households, nutrition intervention has enabled them to increase the number of meals per day and dietary diversity for their children under the age of five. Mushinga Saipu, Ichinoa, Fashijo, Nokua, Unga, and Ariara Sibi, the marriages of Mutuku, Haribi Honyava, Duai, Kajanum, Mugute, Chiravana, Tukashaka, Imboga, Sonjera, Ozima, Tugashiramo, La Betara, even your Saipi, and mine. Beneficiary households are now able to measure their children to check for malnutrition using the mid upper arm circumference measuring tapes and this enables them to assess the nutritional status of their children. Parents and community health workers do this by wrapping the measuring tape around the child's arm and using the color code, they can define the child's degree of malnutrition. Red indicates malnutrition, green shows that the child is healthy and yellow is a warning for moderate acute malnutrition. Households whose children were suffering from severe acute malnutrition and were in red are now in green and those who were underweight have reached a healthy weight thanks to Saib's nutrition intervention. Some of the households that received chickens have been able to multiply these by buying more after selling eggs. They have also been able to buy other small livestock as well as feeds for the chickens. <laughs> Saib 
ibashe kwagura inkoko zibe nyinshi no kubona uko nazihahira Indeed one of the households was able to buy a sewing machine with earnings from the sale of chickens and eggs and this has boosted the family's entrepreneurial business in order to ensure effectiveness of household nutrition intervention in Saib sites, the project involves community health workers who are now volunteering to support the implementation of nutrition intervention at village level. To reach its primary beneficiaries of nutrition and implement its activities, Saib in close collaboration with a technical team from Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO, has ensured a close follow-up on nutrition beneficiary households in order to enhance improved household nutrition and healthy eating habits. The project targets to improve nutritional outcomes at household level in the project's areas by increasing access to healthy and diversified foods and by promoting good practices for improving nutrition. SAIP is funded by the Global Agriculture and Food Security Program GAFSP, through the World Bank Group International Development Association IDA. The project is implemented under the Single Project Implementation Unit SPIU, of the Rwanda Agricultural and Animal Resources Development Board RAB. SAIP is currently implemented in the districts of Rurindo, Karonji, Guamagana, Gatsibo, Rutsiro, Nyanza, Kayonza and Nyabiho. <laughs>